Hey and welcome back. In this video, we'll take a look how you can create a video like this. We'll start by taking a look on the SketchUp file. So basically, we have a scene here with a bunch of buildings in the front, and then on the background, we have um, a big skyscraper that we design in our office. In your project, you can do use something similar like this. You can you just need to have like a background and a foreground. So our background is this uh, skyscraper with uh, those roads and everything, and our foreground is those buildings. We got a base scene here and we separated the background in separate layers and the foreground in separate layers that give us the capability of rendering each part as its own we can render everything in one piece and cut it up but it's better like that we render it on V-Ray for SketchUp high settings exterior so this is the rendering we got this is the RGB layer of our building this is the alpha channel color ID we render the material ID so we can tweak uh, separate parts if we want this is the foreground layer of our RGB we save everything on PNG so we get also the alpha channel and we also have the alpha channel and material ID next part is taking everything into Photoshop so first step we're going to open a canvas we're going to do it 1920 by 1080 now that we've got our canvas we want to add the timeline so the timeline is under window and on the bottom timeline to keep everything clean and organized i'm going to stick it down to the bottom bar you need to hover with the timeline on the bottom bar okay so now that we got our timeline we can create our animation so now we want to choose the first option create a video timeline let's make our bar a little bit bigger so we can see everything better let's make our timeline a little bit bigger by sliding the slider at the bottom with the mountains now we can see our number of frames and seconds now we would like to change a frame per second so this is on the right side you go to the menu and then you choose the set timeline frame rate I'm going to put it on 25 but it's up to you you can change it or leave it as is now just click OK so now you can see on the bottom it says 5 seconds to make your video longer you need to drag it to the right we're going to keep it as is now let's add our media I'm just going to drag in our foreground and background rendering I'm going to organize it and drag the background layer to be behind the foreground layer okay so let's get started animating so let's start with the front you click on the small arrow you get an option that says transform click on the clock watch next to it and you get a yellow diamond on the timeline let's go to our end of our timeline Control T or free transform on the edit menu now let's scale and position it the way we want it to be in the end of the video so basically the way it works, you position it in the first frame the way you want it to be and then you reposition it for the last frame. And Photoshop is going to do for you the transform between. Let's see how it works. So there we go, we got our small animation. Let's do it to all the layers. So let's do the same process. We go here on the front and we'll close the arrow, open the back open the clock get the diamond go to the last frame and control T to get our free transform reposition the building the way we want it and we're going to get our animation this part is going to be a little bit speed up since I wanted the video to be short so I'm going to explain all my process through the video in this part I re-edit the frames so I get a more pleasant animation till I was happy with what I'm getting so now it's time to add a background sky so I add a photo that I have of a sky and um, scaling it with the shift you keep the proportion 
So now I want to add some keyframes for the sky to move as well. So I'll close the back layer and open the picture layer and turn the clock on and start positioning it. Since I'm already in the last frame, I need to go to the first frame and now position the sky the way I would like it in the first frame. So just moving it a little bit and scaling it and making it the way I desire it just to have a small animation as well so now I got the sky moving a little bit but not enough so I want to move it a little bit and scale it. it comes out of the frame in the last frame so on the last frame uh, free transform with the move tool moving a little bit the layers and positioning them that's V on the shortcut on the keyboard going back to my uh, background building and moving it a little bit. Here I got another Photoshop file with some trees and landscaping for uh, putting in the background. I'm going to scale it down and put it behind the building and that will give me fill up the the area behind the building where I don't got anything going on. So now I need to am animate the trees as well so I'm going to jump to the open the clock and jump to the last frame and move it a little bit not I didn't scale on this point but just ma make sure that it goes tracking the the building so in this point I want to add some effects I want to add a vignette effect so I create a new layer and take the elliptic tool and make an elliptic to selection control shift I to invert with the bucket tool fill it with black now go to filter blur gaussian blur playing with the blur amount not too much to keep it a, a little blurry and now i want to scale it a little bit to have less black in my image uh, the way your preference and take put it on overlay and take the opacity down to I ending up uh, putting it on 25 so here I'm adding a small logo and I'm going to put it on the bottom and since I'm not animating it so it's going to stay there this in the vignette all the video so that's nice uh, I just want to change the color of the logo to something a little bit more brighter so you can see it so the way I'm going to do it I'm going to add um, adjustment layer solid color some kind of light gray and clip it up with alt to the layer below so final part is to adjust the layers so now the foreground I want to adjust the color a little bit tweak it so with camera raw filter under filters I'm boosting up the colors and making it a little bit brighter. So in this part I want to add a uh, lens flare so I I'll add the empty layer put a solid black and on filter render lens flare put this blending mode on screen positioning it in the point where we want to have the sun Control T to transform it and have it in the position that I would like it to be. And I'll try to keep it everything in the frame. So scale it up enough and drag it into the animation. Turn on the turn on the small clock to get some keyframes. Positioning it exactly where you want it. And going back to the last frame. Once you're happy with that, we get everything together. So to take the opacity down. Okay, so now it's time to render. So let's make it a little bit bigger and see what we got here. We got all the layers and everything is animated, whatever we want animated. This small arrow will give the render buffer. Uh, name it place the where you would like to have the file we want it on the desktop here you can choose the quality frame per second and render thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe if you think this video was good so share it and on our next video we'll show how to create this rendering animation
rendering camera motion on V-Ray for SketchUp. Thanks again.